conference started really about four years ago. I had an idea for maybe being able to do a conference on the Mets um, because back in 1995, they did a conference on the 100th anniversary of the birth of Babe Ruth here at Hofstra. Uh, it was before I was here, but I heard all about it. It sounded really interesting. Hofstra does some really interesting conferences on things like uh, Frank Sinatra and James Bond movies and things like that. So I thought it might be interesting to do a conference on baseball. I talked to an associate of mine uh, who reminded me that the 50th anniversary of the Mets was coming up in 2012. And then I talked to my dean who suggested that I introduce myself to an English professor, uh, Dana Brand. Dana had just published his book, Fan, uh, Mets Fan, and uh, it was uh, interesting that somebody had done a book on this. And so we got to eventually meet each other and decided right away this would be a great idea. Uh, Dana was a Mets fan, but he was also a Mets scholar and was very interested in the scholarship, in the, scholarship of, of the Mets and of the history of baseball as am I. And so we got our minds together, our ideas together, and over the years we're able to put everything together and we have this conference today. Sadly, uh, Dana passed away suddenly last year and um, I knew we had had a lot of discussions about the conference because we're both lifelong Mets fans, so we were talking about the kinds of things that would be good, fun to have, and interesting scholars. And uh, so I was sort of a consultant, unofficial consultant. And then when he passed away, um, uh, I, I offered to step in because I was concerned that the conference is a big undertaking, and, and so I offered to step in also because I had, because we had been friends for 23 years, and so I knew. Uh, you know, the kinds of things that he liked in a lot of his stories, and I figured I could bring something to the conference with that. We really, from the beginning, wanted to put together something that was multidisciplinary. Dana was an English professor, I'm an engineering professor, so we, from the beginning, really were looking at bringing different worlds together to talk about the Mets and baseball. And so we have poets and statisticians and historians and writers and artists and uh, movie makers all coming together to contribute to this conference and that's really what we had in mind bringing together all aspects of the culture and history of the team to be able to talk about the Mets. At the time that Dana was writing um, uh, his blog he became part of this community of bloggers as well so in social media so Dana decided that he wanted to um, have a conference that would not only um, be academic but also something that the fans would enjoy that if we could involve as many of the players as possible um, and, uh, and then also the social media. So I think we've tried to do all of that in, with this conference. Dana uh, had a blog and it wasn't um, what I guess I would say the typical blog. It was very thoughtful and of course it was very well written. And uh, he just put together some beautiful pieces which were fan oriented of course but also had a depth to them, a heart to them that was really unique. And it was, uh, it made for a very unique blog, but it also enabled him to really connect with a lot of people. And we have a lot of bloggers at this conference because of those connections that Dana was able to make. Um, Dana was a passionate Mets fan, and it came through in his blog, it came through in his writing, in his books, and I think it's again here today in this conference. If you read any of his books, if you read Mets fan, where he talks about his love of Mr. Matt and his love of the song. Uh, meet the Mets and the chant of Let's Go Mets. I mean, anything that you can imagine that you probably thought of if you were a fan, he's written about it now in his books, and it's, it's a great legacy for him to have left that to us.